Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN doing part two of our UI installation. Um, we did all the file work earlier. We copied all the files from the download, did the unzipping, did the copying over, the account and server name, editing, all that shit. Got that done. Now let's get into the real deal hardcore shit, which is the actual UI, fucking around with it, doing all that. Let's, uh, put, let me put in my password here, which is I love tentacle porn. Uh, my you my whole screen might get choppy. It's I don't know what's been happening ever since the the latest installation of uh, beta. It's been a little choppy for me. So let's go in. Wow, two is my beta account. So for you, you would just log in normally into your screen. Uh, we are Gilneas. Let's hit on Tally. Do do do. There I am. By the way, that's a new Boe Epic that I got the other day from Bash of the Twilight. Pretty hot looking sword in my opinion. And uh, let's uh, log in. Let's see what everything looks like once we log into World of Warcraft. It should be the same for everyone. There should be no changes whatsoever. Whatever I see, you should see. And this is basically it. Um, right now, in the background, you see everything's all kind of clustered, right? You kind of see, like, the original WoW UI. You see the recount kind of there out of nowhere. <laughs> Hit install. That's it. That's how LUI works. You just hit install, and then for, it'll be like, I will make everything ready pretty for you, sir. And then you log in, and it's like, oh, my God, everything's nice and pretty. Look at that. Okay. So let's move over this DXE thing over here by uh, holding down shift, left-clicking, and dragging it over. Either that, or you can go here, DXE, uh, Deuce Vox Encounters, and just go to pain, show pain, gets rid of it. So here we go. These are my unit frames. Okay, my action bars are here, but usually you're like, hmm, Tally, don't you usually have something else right around here? And I'm like, as a matter of fact, I do. I usually have my tanking abilities right there. So uh, it's probably the way I saved it originally. That's why it's not showing up. But when you go to Bartender 4, you want to hit the profile for Rick Roll. Okay, and there you go. Voila. Um, another thing you might see that's different, I'm going to move these around, is that bar 1 should be where bar 3 is, and bar 3 should be where bar 1 is. So let's go to bar, th uh, let's just go to bar 1, and set the, set the scale into 1.25, and let's make the row, bam, like that. So now, that's it. That's all you got to go. There you go. Let's see, bar 3, we're going to set that scale back to 1, the rows like that, and we're going to put it back down here. And now it should look like what my normal UI looks like. So let's hit lock. So LUI, very, very awesome, this version. The new, I was so excited because the author, Louie, was all types of like, this is going to be the best LUI compilation you guys have ever seen. It's going to be amazing. I'm like, all right, cool, man. I'll, t I'll take your word for it. So let's look at the settings. Now, to look at some of the settings. Um, before, Actually, before we do that, pull, go to Bartender. Go to micro menu, hit enable. It'll be right down here to the left because right now, currently, if you hit escape, I'm hitting escape right now, you don't get the actual like log out of the World of Warcraft, uh, the pop up, you know, to log out or open a ticket or any of that stuff. So uh, let's go ahead. This little screw button right here, this is what's going to control LUI. All right. So let's see. First thing you're probably wondering is, Tally, usually you have Omen here, and you have Recount here, and you have all these boxes here. Where are they? Well, there they are. How did I do that? Very simple. This little vortex-looking button right here controls these bars at the bottom, uh, excuse me, the panels at the bottom. So you hit it. Right now he has it so that when you log in, it's it's uh, the panels are colored by class. We'll change that in a second. Let's look at the more important uh, options for LUI. In your general, you have modules. Modules is like, for me, the backbone of this damn thing. You go to modules. Right now, LUI has everything in-house. He created his own auras, his own mini-map, bag, cooldowns, tooltip, nameplates, map, chat. He made it so that you don't have to install all those external add-ons. Ah, but let's say, you know, you like your tidy plate threat plates you like your tip tack you like you know your chat mod prot you know uh let's say you like you know chatter let's say you like citrina buff frames then you what you can do is like this simply 
disable tooltip disabled everything uh, let's see cooldowns disabled you know why I do that because I like to use Omni CC uh, bag mod enabled I like their bag mod nameplates you know what we're gonna keep their nameplates right now because right now tidy plates has issues with LUI uh, at the moment of this video so yeah so let's do reload UI and that's it once you reload UI the changes should happen automatically so what you do now is you're disabling the in-house uh, add-ons that were created by the author through modules so right now my tooltip should stay as tic-tac my cooldowns let's see if I hit uh, something like uh, consecrate right there it's using Omni CC which is what I have installed originally okay so enough of that part uh, let's go back to the options here this is you know basically you can mess around with this it doesn't really matter uh, colors frames themes paladin warrior I don't know what that is but it's a color demonic pack mage and that's mine orange marmalade druid there's like so many options here blood prince priest you have all these options or if you don't like any of these colors go to frames panels bars over here click on these and you can make all these frames whatever color you want it to be but right now I use orange marmalade okay and um, first thing I always notice when I installed my UI is I hate this little arc bar over here and I get rid of that by going back to the settings bars top uh, texture settings bam gone I like the bottom one bottom one's cool top one not cool okay uh, let's see you also have these side panels here you can get this side panel there's also a side panel on the left side that you can create over here but I'm not gonna enable it it'll ask you to reload and then you'll see another panel just like this one but over on the uh, left side once again I'm sorry that everything's so choppy and not sure what's going on with the beta recently it's even happening on live so I gotta figure that out anyway for frames this is your TPS meter frame this does all the editing for here DPS you can actually uh, swap them if you want but currently uh, you have to unlock them and then drag them left and right to swap them uh, let's go to raid I'm gonna put voodoo because that's what I have as you can see right now voodoo doesn't have a panel but if you actually choose voodoo as your um, what you call it grid like add-on you can choose uh, grid voodoo or heal bot from the options when we come back you're gonna see that now voodoo has its own little uh, bar thing there and that's pretty awesome now if you wanted to do something crazy like let's say you don't like where this recount is right here you know go to recount config or is it appearance window lock window move it around I don't know maybe you like it over here maybe you like it over there I don't know who knows it, everything is just totally customizable you can move it wherever you want doesn't matter same thing with omen let's see if you go to uh, omen config Actually, I haven't tried it with omen let's see if it works uh, let's see lock omen yeah you can move omen all around put it on top here put it over here maybe you want this part free for whatever reason I don't I like it to be nice and tidy because I'm OCD like that uh, come on there you go lock omen perfect so basically we have the normal layout of what everything would look like for myself uh, let's see what else we have we frames uh, or as chat you can set up your chat your font your font size uh, bags mini map yes or no also if you don't want to look at the map you can just disable it right up here um, and if you don't want to see this micro menu you could hit this arrow it'll get rid of it bring it back bring back your map this left one used to be pally power for me but since I don't use pally power anymore because I don't need it there you go up here this is all customizable as well let's say you don't want to see you know your armor or your bags or your FPS or any of this shit go to the options go to info text I want to see my guild enable that's how many guild these are online let's say I want to see my friends I mean I have none but I have zero friends online it's not a fucking surprise and uh, that's pretty much it let's say you don't want to see your gold that's over here on the upper left disable I don't want to see my gold do I really need to see how many, what's in my bags or how much bag space I've used? I really don't care. Maybe this is you. Maybe you do. Delete that. 
And that's pretty much it. Uh, he's also going to install nameplate options for his own nameplates uh, later on. But this is the basic rundown of how to get uh, my or your UI looking like my UI. Um, after this, it's all basically tweaking. It's whatever you guys want to do. I mean, like I said, I've been using LUI f since its first version, and I've never looked back. I've tried other UIs, and they just don't work for me. You know, I know this video might have been a little confusing. There might have been some mumble jumble the mumbling of myself because this is my first time doing any type of UI installation video. But um, it's pretty easy. Hit the install button, go up here to the little screw thing, and just start messing around with the settings. The only thing you have to, have to, have to remember is modules. Okay? You must remember that LUI comes with its own modules. And if you would rather use your add-ons than his modules, then disable that specific add-on. Like, for instance, if I'm using tidy plates, I'm going to disable his nameplates. Okay? If I'm using uh, Arc Inventory, I'm going to disable his bags and enable my bags from the add-on screen. All right? It's going to be like that for mostly all of your add-ons. Everything else should be, you know, second nature. Uh, same thing. People think are asking me, oh, is that Satrina buff? Uh, whatever. I'm like, no, those are not Satrina buff frames. That's actually his auras enabled. If you want to use Satrinas, disable his auras. And then it'll get rid of his and put Satrinas up there if you haven't installed from the UI. But uh, that's it, fellas, guys and gals. That's how you install my UI, videos part one and part two. If you have any questions, you know, give me a buzz, shoot me some emails, you know, hit up the comments. I need you guys to take these two videos and spread the word, you know. Well, not really this one, but mostly the first one. Take the first video, give it to all your friends and be like, hey, guys, if you ever want to feel safe installing a UI, here, take Tally's video of how to move the files and folders to unzip, you know, a nice structure for you guys on how to install your UI. This has been Tally with TGN, thegamenet.com, baby. Peace out.